Hey everybody, Roger Bain from Bain Custom Woodworking here in Mount Juliet, Tennessee. Today I want to talk about a couple of the tools that I'm going to use. Now I've demonstrated these in the past, but it's been a while since I've used them. Uh, today's a good day to do that. I've got things drying, so I can't work in the shop. So let's talk about these tools. So let's talk about this first. This is my Parcel Full Face Safety Mask. This is an excellent company to deal with. Um, a small company, a small business. I love working with them. I have multiple masks that I use from them. This happens to be the full face mask. I like this, when I'm, especially when I'm working with this tool because it throws a lot of dust and chips around. I don't have to wear glasses because this is a full face mask. It's also protecting my lungs with the filters here. It fits completely over my face. And even with my beard, this seals very, very well. Again, this is Parcel Safety, P-A-R-C-I-L. I'll link this in the description. I'll also link my code where you can get a discount for these. And they run specials periodically. I would keep an eye on them. They are very, very supportive and they respond quickly to emails. So Parcel Safety. So this is my safety mask I'm gonna to use today. But another thing I wanna talk about, this is my router sled for leveling. This is, comes from a company called uh, S S Clean Cut or CCW Router Sled. Uh, make sure I link those names in the description in their website. Uh, I don't always pronounce things correctly, so let's get that in there so you can see that. I love this sled. Mine is not very long, but that's okay because I don't do a lot of long sled, uh, slabs but it's wide enough for me. It's just under four foot, perfect. Works great for what I need to do. What I like about this is I can literally manage this with one hand and you'll see that as I'm working out here in the uh, outside the shop. I don't do this inside the shop. Uh, they make a dust system that can hook to this. Honestly, I'd rather work outside where it's, it's wide open and I have a tent and I'll show you that in a moment. What I like about this a tool is it's very slick. This thing just moves back and forth without a lot of effort. I can run this one-handed. It works great. Now I run this with a three and a quarter horsepower Triton router. If you saw my YouTube last week or my Instagram post last week, you'll see that I used this router to run a pattern bit on a table. Go back and you can reference that. I'll try to remember to link that in the description as well. But I love this thing because it's easy. Now, the router is heavy. When I take this off of this router sled, it can be very heavy to manage, but it's, it's manageable. A lot of power, and that's what I like about it. This is really easy to manage when it comes to leveling. So this router's up and down very easily. And there's a micro adjust here on the top, so I can go up and down a little bit if I need to. But the whole point of it is, I love this router sled. It's a small business in Louisiana. Uh, he does a great job for me. Brent uh, is the owner uh, and he does a really good job with this. So reach out to him if you're looking for a level sled that's economical, but it does the job. There, there is no, uh, they took no shortcuts on this. This is really a slick sled to work with. Again, one, this is my Parcel safety mask that I'm gonna work with. The router sled is from Clean Cut Woodworking. I'll link that. And the router is a Triton. Now the bit that I'm using, obviously you cannot see that here. That is a bit that I bought from uh, Clean Cut Woodworking as well. Uh, and it works great. It's got uh, four uh, cutter heads on it. So we're gonna go outside and we're gonna work in this. And, and actually, um, let me turn the camera as I continue to talk and you'll see what I'm going to do. So hold right on. So I've now gone to the other side of the camera, but let me show you why. I'm gonna turn this and you'll see there's an overhead door here. So I'm in my shop, I'm gonna head out my overhead door and there is a tent that I have set up here. I have three walls on it. I could certainly put the fourth wall on if I want, but the reason that I like this is I'm outside of my shop. I'm not creating a lot of dust in my shop. It's 10 by 12. 
It works great out here. It fits perfectly on this pad. Doesn't keep any noise down, but I get it. That's why I do it during the day. Most of my neighbors are working, but it keeps the dust down and it's easier to clean up. So we're going to work in this. Uh, we're going to set it up over here so you can watch me work. I'll try to get some close-up shots as I work, uh, but let's see what we do. Let's get things done. Let's get some work done. So hold right on and we'll get everything set up and get working. But uh, another thing that I did not talk about that I do use is safety. And let's come in closer so we can see these. These are my Isotune Freeze. So I will wear these to keep the noise out of my head. Um, and let's see how we do. Okay, so obviously if you pay attention to my shirt, you'll see that I've really done this process over the last three days. Uh, it's a lot of work to get this done, and as I work on it, so you'll see the process differently with different boards and, and that type of thing. But the tools I use are identical. So let's review what I've done. So this is one of the cedar pieces that I've completed. This was a slab that I rough cut out of a log with a chainsaw. Cleaned up really nice, got a nice live edge on both sides. This one's going to end up being a console table. So let's slide this underneath here. So let's talk about my mask. This is my favorite. This is from Parcel Safety. I've used this for a number of years. This is a full face mask with filters on it. I wear this especially when I do my level sled because of the way that it throws dust and chunks around. I don't have to wear safety glasses with this because I've got a good protective shield up here. And I can tell you that I worked this level sled anywhere from four to six hours for the past two days. And when I take this mask off, my face is completely clean. And I know that because my nose and my sinuses are completely clean as well. So this really works great. Uh, the filters are easy to install and come off. And they normally have a white shield up here. I've taken that out because I have to put a new one in. They, they come out very easily. I really love the way that this mask covers my face. I will link this mask in the description below. I will also put my discount code in there. So if you order this, you'll obviously I get a little bit from it for small business. That's very important for me, but it also supports parcel safety. Uh, another mask that I'd like to talk about while we're here is this one. This is the mask that I, work, I wear uh, pretty much all the time in my shop. And I do that because it's a very small footprint on my face, a very small footprint up front. So I don't have both of these huge filters hanging out. This thing really works great. Uh, this is, and I need to get the code, this is a T90 with a PA1 filter on it. I really like this. To wear in the shop on a regular basis because I don't feel constricted. Uh, certainly after four to six hours of wearing this, which is perfect, which is great what I do, my face gets a little tired, but that's because I've got a mask on for four to six hours and it gets a little tired. I can wear this pretty much all day long in the shop and it really works great. It's easy to put on. It's fast. I wear my safety glasses with it. I like both of them. I would not be without this mask for a job like my level sled, I would not be without this mask for a job inside my shop. So then let's talk about the level sled here. I'm gonna link this as well. This is all on bearings. It slides easily both ways. You can easily run it from either one of the ends or behind it. And you'll see in the videos that you've been watching that I've 
done both. I've been on the side and I've been behind it. It depends on how I want to run it. The bearings are very easy. Uh, they, they work great. I don't have an issue with that. Now, this I got from um, Clean Cut Woodworking. I will link that as well. They do a great job. Uh, Brent's in Louisiana, I believe. And then I use the Triton three and a quarter horsepower router because I want that power. Now this bit that you see down here is a monster bit. Uh, I did take it out. It'd be nice if I took it out so you could see it, but it's pretty, it's a monster. It's got four cutter heads on it. I also purchased that from Brent as well. So you can get, get it as well, but you can use any, uh, router bit down here that you want that you prefer i just prefer this one it works really great and as you can see by this piece it works great so there you have it so you've seen my introduction at the beginning and we've talked about this that's why i wanted to review this at the end you've seen me work on it you've seen up close videos i'm going to throw some pictures into the video as well so you can see me working you can see me wearing the mask and and standing behind this so that we have some uh, pictures of that as well but I just wanted everyone to see what I'm using. There are multiple sleds out there. I actually made my own uh, level sled that I used for years. You can certainly do that. I prefer now to move up to this just because it's easy for me to work on and it works great on my mobile bench. Again, my Parsil safety masks that I use. So, all that said, uh, I know I rambled a lot, but hey, that's who I am. <laughs> I am not a professional videographer or movie taker or whatever you want to call. I'm just a maker here in Mount Juliet, Tennessee, right outside of Nashville, uh, running a small business after I semi-retired uh, from the IT world. So if you have any questions, by all means, drop them in there. Uh, comments, I appreciate them. If you've found this and you don't follow me, I would appreciate that you subscribe to my YouTube channel as well. You can find me on Instagram. I will actually post part of this on Instagram so that I can show the products that I'm using. Um, and we also have a website here, uh, BainCustomWoodworking.com. We have some of our products up there that are for sale as well. So if you're local to the Nashville, Mount Juliet area, certainly we have these these cedar items will be either put up as benches or uh, console tables for something that this one's going to be a console table or what some people call them a sofa table we'll have them up there for you to pick up we're still deciding whether we're going to put wooden or steel legs on these uh, we might even throw it up there for people to have an option to choose what they can do so that's it Again, Roger Bain from Bain Custom Woodworking here in Mount Juliet, Tennessee, right outside of Nashville. For all you makers out there, keep making sawdust. It doesn't get any better than that. And for everyone, God bless.